On today's episode, I'll show you how to use my E-Leveler 2 to set the Z offset on an auto level machine, then how to manually get that bed nice and flat, and then run the auto level to give you that perfect first layer. I'll explain it all on today's Film of Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. This video is also brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. The Filament Friday E-Leveler 2 is the latest version of my bed leveling tool. There's a website that shows you how to use it, and also files that you download to an SD card to run them on your 3D printer. I'll use an Ender 3 S1 with auto level, but I'll use the E-Leveler 2 to get that perfect Z offset and that perfect first layer instead of using a piece of paper like they recommend. The first step is to remove the filament from the hot end, so I'm going to use the preheat PLA from the menu to heat it up. Then I'll pull the release lever and push out a little filament and then pull up quickly to get everything out of the nozzle. While it's still hot, I'll use a brush and clean any residue off the bottom of the nozzle. Now I'll go back to the menu and I'll select cool down to cool down the hot end. I released previous videos where I explained why you don't have to heat up the hot end or bed to get that perfect bed level. I'll link to those in the description below. Once it's cooled down, then I go to the prepare menu and select auto home so it'll home itself at the center of the bed. After it's home, we go back to the prepare menu and then the move menu and go down to the move Z and we want to reduce this down to zero. Now we're ready to set the Z offset. So go to the prepare menu and then the Z offset menu and set Z offset to zero. Now you want to try and slide the E-Leveler 2 under the nozzle. Adjust the Z offset in the positive direction to lift the nozzle until the E-Leveler 2 can slide under it. You want to position it so the nozzle is right inside the circle on top of the E-Leveler 2. Adjust the Z offset until the LED comes on and then adjust it back and forth until the LED just turns off. In my case, it's 2.96. Now remove the E-Leveler 2 and enter that value into a calculator, 2.96, and then subtract the thickness of the E-Leveler 2, 5.7 millimeters, and the answer will give you your new Z offset. It's going to be a negative number, negative 2.74. Now adjust the Z offset from a positive number to that negative number that you calculated, in my case, negative 2.74. Now we want to save that new Z offset, so we go to the control menu, and then scroll down to store configuration, and that'll store that new Z offset. Insert the SD card that has those files you downloaded for the E-Leveler 2. Now you can run the E-Leveler G-Code file that you download from the E-Leveler 2 website. It'll home the nozzle and then move to the left front corner. It'll stay here for about 30 seconds. Adjust it until the LED just comes on. Then it'll move to the rear corner. Adjust that until the LED just comes on. Do it at each corner. You got about 30 seconds and then it automatically moves. You can run it again if you need to. Once that's done, we can now run auto level. Go to the level menu and it'll automatically do a 16 point auto level. But because we leveled this bed manually, we're going to get a much better auto level result. Now we're ready to test it, so I'll insert the filament back into the extruder all the way down to the nozzle, and then we'll run the squares test. Now we go to the print menu, and we run the squares test, just like you would any sample file. It'll heat up, home itself, run a test strip, and then it'll draw the squares. You should see no gaps, no bumps. It should come out smooth, just like this. So now you know you have a perfectly level bed and the proper Z offset, using the E-Leveler 2 instead of a piece of paper. You can get your own E-Level or two at the link in the description below, and you can also get circuit boards from PCBWay. PCBWay offers 10 circuit boards for $5 plus shipping. It's a great deal. They also have low-cost assembly service if you're looking for that. Just upload your Gerber file, tell them what features you want, and you'll get an instant quote. So check out PCBWay.com. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.